Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's going on? Got a uh, last minute stream going, so um, I am going to be uh, doing a stream today, and then my next stream, I might try to do one Friday, but I'm not sure. So um, the reason why I'm doing a stream today is because my mom is coming into town tomorrow, so I can't do my normal Tuesday stream. Um, but I will, uh, I'll do my best to do a stream, like I said, on Friday. But, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, so this is from last week. Sorry, give me one second. Yeah, so this stuff over here is from last week's stream. So... Let's get the gesture drawing up over here. All right, so. Like I said last time, there, um, what's up, Locke? The references I am using, I can't display on here. Um, because they are from different manga and stuff, and I don't have, I don't have permission to, to show these. So. Alright. Let's get started. Starting off with, uh, well, that's annoying. Sorry, give me one second. My controller is not happy. Okay, now we're good. Starting off with a Jujutsu Kaisen reference. Locke, how you been doing, bud? I hope you're doing well. going all right over there a lot nice nice sitting I was sitting kind of wonky so a lot of these poses that I've chosen are pretty uh, pretty dynamic in their um, in their like camera angle and stuff which is what I desperately need to work on
Uh, whoa. I just wanted to get this shoulder a little bit. Um, so Locke, the answer to that question is, um, I would like to be a concept artist, uh, just because that's like a, I think it's a little bit more of a stable, um, like a stable occupation. But I would like to do, um, I would like to create manga. Like, I, I, that's like another goal that I have is to be able to publish um, a comic or a manga. So, a little bit of both. I'm being greedy, I guess. Yep, this is a monetized stream. I figured streams are my most popular content, um, and I feel like the ads for streams aren't always too bad, because it's like, you get an ad here and there, but the stream's like an hour long, so. This one's a little rough, but I'm expecting them to be like this for a little bit. You notice the difference in what? In the two, uh, like the two occupations, manga versus Um, concept art. This is a interesting. This is how you know Mike ignores me. Oh, sorry. The moment you made money, you changed Mike. <laughs> I don't know about that. Sorry, I didn't. I actually like just didn't see your message. <laughs> Now Locke's uh, comment makes more sense. <laughs> Thank you. 
That one was rough. <laughs> Coop, how's your day been, though? Hope you're doing well. Day has been all right ever since I finished my rewatch this morning. Nice. Collab. That would be fun. that before. Mike is strong where I am weak. What do you mean by that? You're a... Uh... I, I will say it has been a little bit since I, because I, I've just been really busy when the streams are being done. Um, but every time I see your your work, Locke, you look like you improve. Like, I think I saw one of the things that you created on Instagram just the other day. And to me, it looked really good.
Uh, Coop, did you see, um, have you seen, uh, Celtic Manga's stuff lately? He passed me in, in like a week. That was crazy. Is that, that one video he created is so good. I haven't actually watched it, but it's doing so well on, on YouTube. Now, I know this pose looks a little funky, but it is um, slightly off balance in the, the actual reference, so. Yeah, that's crazy. That's definitely, uh, it's definitely one way to <laughs> blow up on YouTube is you just make a viral video. Cause that, that video, it'll end up with 100k plus probably, the way that it's going. Which is just insane, like, I've been doing this for freaking years and I've gotten 13k, but those, that's on a video that was <laughs> promoted by somebody that has a million subs, so. probably do this just a bit. I wonder how art collabs work. Collabs in general help with growing and just make things quite interesting. Um, it depends. I've seen some art collabs where it's like the the artist will take on a project together and like one artist will do like the uh, what you call it, uh, like the line work and stuff, and the other artist will do the coloring. Um, and it just realized my camera's like super crooked. Um, so it just kind of depends. Um, Locke said, Mike is good at gesture and pose. I am weak. I don't know if that's true. I think that you do a good job with your gestures and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure why I picked this one. Maybe you could make something completely new in the art scene, which seems hard. Uh, maybe.
Can I make a man with fish head and fins? Oh, you're talking about like a, like a fish person? That would be interesting. I can try that once I'm done with the gestures. I've never done something like that before. Uh, Coop, you said you can make something completely new. Do you mean, like, what do you mean by that? Like, do you mean, like, I can make, like, an actual video that's new? Or, like, me and somebody could collab and that would be new? I'm not sure what you meant by that. Yo, what's up, Mike? Yep, I'm doing well. Hope you are, too. Sorry, Coop, I will get to your comment in just a second. Some of these are kind of getting sloppy because I don't have all the information, so I'm trying to fill it in from imagination. I'll get better with that as I go. Um, let me pause this so I can look at what was said real fast. Um, either or, just saying that collabs usually help both creators grow, but if you do it solo, it'll still work. Yeah, I see what you mean. I kind of would hate to do, like, for instance, like a collab with uh, Celtic just because I. I uh, I don't want Celtic to feel like I'm just trying to curtail off of his success or coattail, sorry, off of his success. But, um, you know, anybody else that would want to do a collab, I have no problem with it. Nice, Locke. I'm glad that, uh, you're liking the new poses. They've definitely been pretty tricky for me to get because these are super... Like, all of them are pretty dynamic. Which is a good thing. It's what I need to... What I need to practice. Uh, Celtic, um, manga is, uh, 
he is a um, a person that joined our Discord a while back, but he also does videos and stuff, and his like YouTube channel has been like blowing up. Like I'm sure, like because of that video he made, he has like he literally has a video that Scott. It's like gonna probably hit 100k like views. He'll probably get like 10k subs here pretty soon, which is just nutty. Happy for him. I haven't watched it yet, to be honest with you. Um, I don't really watch too many art videos on YouTube anymore, just because like, uh, it, it's just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm constantly doing art related things. I, I just don't, it's not really something I want to do for, to like wind down or anything of that nature. Um, But yes, it is an art guide of some sort. It's like, it's got a really good title to it too. It's like the only art, like guide to art that you'll ever need or something like that. It's like super bold claim. But I, again, I haven't seen it. So I don't, I can't say that it's good or bad. I have no idea. It must be pretty good though. The amount of people that have, uh, that have seen it or uh, viewed it. I'm sure it's very good. He's a good artist too, so. What's the verdict, Mike? Was it a good one? Well, that's good. The fundamentals of Celtics that are hard to pin down. Uh, well, yeah, there's that's like hard. That's a I think that's a hard sell. Like, yeah, I don't think I, I I don't think I agree with that actually.
Give me one second, and I can fully explain. Sorry, give me one second. Okay. Um, so you said the crux of it is not to start at gesture though, which is debatable because I've seen a lot of folks say to start there versus not. Um, and then you said he has 18 years experience, but he said he needs to go back and finish draw box. Um, Locke, I don't know how to respond to that. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I don't know if that's serious or not. What kind of hair would a fish girl have? Give me one second. Um, so, yeah, Mike, I don't agree with not starting at gesture, um, it j because it depends on where, like, what you want to do, like, with your art, right? Like, if you want to be a, um, if you want to be a character artist, like, I don't really know why you wouldn't want to start there. Um, if you want to do manga, I think that you should start there. Now, if you want to do, if you want to do environments, then yeah, sure. Like, there's no reason to really start with, um, gesture. That's interesting. Icing on the cake is gesture. Figure equals the cake. I guess it depends on what his definition of figure is. But I, I think I still disagree with that. Like you can draw figures, but if you don't draw figures that are like, for instance, figure and form first, gesture last. Nah, I don't know if I agree with that. Like, you can do them both, too. Like, form, I would agree.
and, and in my opinion too you can there's not like you don't have to like you don't have to grind out jet like perspective and um shape and form and all that stuff to the max right before you can move on to the next level like art is something where like if you get caught in the mindset of i have to be perfect at this or um i can't move on or you get caught into the mindset of um oh i've already gotten past that i don't have to go back to it right uh then that's when you get yourself stuck in ruts because you're consistently doing all of these things at once and you're consistently working on doing it better as you go right so to say that like gestures all the way at step seven and form and figures at step one and you can't get to the gesture and the gesture is icing on the cake i i I don't, I don't agree with that, especially because you can even look at like Mark Bernays courses, like I can even pop these up and this is, again, this is a guy that was a professional for like in the highest sense of the word professional, um, for like, you know, a decade or more. Um, and let me. Here, I can do it this way, actually. Um, here, let me... Oops. Give me one second. Like, you can look at this, right, and you can see his term one, and this is like, this is, uh, here, let me get a pen out. This is his term one, right here. So, you can see, I think it goes like this. I think it goes here, 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 and then here. So perspective is actually coming after the nude figure drawing. I mean, you could do these relatively around the same time as well, and that's kind of what I did. Like, but um, but like again, this is a person that's a uh, this person's a professional. He. <laughs> um, but he uh he also you know he worked in the field for oh okay so yeah it could be like this and then this right it doesn't doesn't really matter um but that worked for me i don't know uh it did fine for me but the the point still is that like this is the first term like all of this oops all of this right here came together and these two being the 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 main portions right um like it's important to understand perspective and um and stuff but i wouldn't go as far to say as like it's hard for me to say that uh, gesture drawing is the is the icing like i think that's a pretty bold statement because gesture drawing is a fundamental um, in and of itself, like you can, you can understand f like uh, volumes and or actually you can understand volumes without understanding gesture, and you can also understand gesture without understanding volumes, and that's okay. Oh no, you're fine. I mean, again, it's. It, I think that it's um. It's also dependent on, I just don't like when people make bold like claims like that because that's misleading to people, right? Because now somebody is going to watch that video and basically say, oh, if I don't do it this way, then I'm not going to 
to do well in art or they'll say to themselves if i if i can't do it this way then i'm a failure right that's 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 my only gripe with stuff like that because that's not that's not like that's why i don't like to make claims like you have to do it this way there's a billion different ways to go about art you could go into art and just like you can start off with um Uh, you could be a character artist and not understand perspective, right? You could, you could go your entire art career and not really learn perspective like that, um, not really understand it that well, and you can just kind of fake it. Um, I'm not saying that I would, I would say that you should do that, but you could. <laughs> you might not be able to make it pro, but you could do it. You could still make decent art like that. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I just don't agree with that, I don't think, personally, like, I don't like that kind of, like, uh, I don't personally like that kind of, like, claim, of, like, you have to do it one way or another, or one thing, because those steps, like, I don't know what's in between for him, I'll have to watch the video, I don't know what's in between step one and step seven, but all of that stuff, in my opinion, would be fundamentals, like, um, and, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know if if Locke is still here, so um, I went on an absolute rant. Um, let's see here. You drew a bean. Nice, nice. What kind of hair would a fish girl have? Now it just depends, right? If you have a mermaid, she can have regular hair. That's kind of a fish girl. Um, now if you have a girl that is a fish, yeah, I'll have to check it out. Um, if you, oh no, you're fine. No, 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 you're fine. I like debating stuff like that. So if you, but if you wanted a, a girl that has like the head of a fish, I don't know if you necessarily would. Oh, seaweed's a good idea. Um, I don't know if you necessarily have to have hair. Um, I'm trying to think of what a good reference for something like that would be. I don't know. <laughs> um... All right, so let's do a quick, let's do a few from imagination really fast. Um, here I have one that I haven't drawn in quite some time. Oh, I'm sure there is. this hand actually doing I think it was up yeah I think it's up but it's a little more straight I always draw my heads a little too small all right 
right, and then this one. What is this? Okay. Okay, cool. Um, and this on this side, I believe, also is kind of up. What are some poses that match your characters in your manga? Uh, oh, what about some poses that match what your characters in your manga might be doing? I could probably do that. I need to, um, I keep debating on how I want to do my, um, my power, like my magic system. Like, I need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I can do a couple. I know this is a little too. I believe both of the knees are going inwards, actually. What is this arm doing? One of them is up. Monitor Comics has a good video I make in Power System. Yeah, Monitor Comics got some good videos. Don't forget to draw ahead every day. It's the best thing you can do in your life. Yep, that is Andrew, the Loomis system, or the Loomis heads. I definitely draw heads every day without fail. I'm trying to think of what this arm is actually doing. I think this arm is going back in space a little bit more than I have it and maybe comes up. And this one is bothering me. All right, let's do it like this maybe. All right, um, like I understand like the general concept of like magic systems and stuff. It's just like, I want to choose something that fits because, um, I think I've talked about this before, but my magic system is going to, uh, kind of be based on, um, like mental health related things. And there's just like so much you could do with that. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm like trying to figure that out. Like, how can I make it? Yeah, and like, yeah, there's like a lot that I've, I've been thinking about with that recently. Um, like, I really like actually, I, I've just been recently watching Jujutsu Kaisen. I really like the idea of domains and stuff. I think it's really cool. All right, let me think here. Like Jean Grey from X-Men? Kind of. Using emotions? Hmm. I'll have to check that out. Um, all right, let me think here. So, oh lordy, Coop, Coop, Bot, Bot, Coop, my boy, Coop, good job. Um, 
trying to think of how my brain's not really working right now. I'm trying to think of how I could draw this. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Alright, I got one. This might be a pose. No, I actually switched my studio around, Mike. Um, I think what last stream might have been the first one that everybody saw. The first time everybody saw that. I I, uh, I had my back facing the wall over there before, and now I have it facing obviously this wall. But um, I turn. I just turned the room around a little bit. So this is actually uh, possibly something that you would literally see at some point. I'll, like, I'll probably find a decent reference for it just to help me out just a bit, um, even though I might not really need to. But this is actually like a pose that you'll probably find in my actual comic at some point or my manga at some point. Something I'm going to shift just a bit. Um, so I have, let me check something really fast before I start yammering on. Is this balanced? Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty balanced. I could probably twist her just a bit. Okay. So, um, in my manga, um, there are going to be there's a character, and the, in the one shot, the main characters are born almost like Phoenix, 
phoenixes phoenix eye <laughs> but uh the phoenix is uh so they are born from the ash of their predecessor um and this will definitely be like a scene that you probably see i mean the, granted this is a a tall version of the character who who the character would be but um this is a scene that you would see probably page one or two I still have to, again, I have to come up with the magic system, but, um, another, like, whatchamacallit, that, another pose that you'll probably see would be something like, um, hmm. this is a panel I probably have a pose that's at some point. Probably make it a little more dynamic than this, but trying to make because this character is like would be like the the bad character so I want to make the character s seem like they feel superior and one of the ways you can do that is kind of having them looking down on their victim I 
really great. I'm not going to go into the detail of all of this stuff, but um, one of the big indicators is like the nose, right? Um, need to make the neck longer just by a touch. Probably make the head bigger as well. But yeah, you want your like one of your characters to seem like they're looking down on somebody, or uh, seem like they're inferior. Or sorry, make it seem like they think somebody else is inferior. Um, uh, that's how you do it. You have them kind of like looking down. This is probably a bit much. I'll get this nose kind of in here. And I would look for a reference for this one when I actually go to draw it, but. that underneath pose for faces is pretty difficult but and you know what just to give it a little more like a little bit of a feeling of cynicism here you kind of have the head tilted a little bit um oh you're cool Mike uh um Another one. I am actually going to redraw this head um, off to the side here. too much of the uh, of the side of the face kind of contouring here um, Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Which one is this one? Uh, this is called Adventures. It's by... Oh, wait a second. I don't know if, it, if the song is called Adventures or if that's the name of the creator. <laughs> but I, I'm going to... Because it's called also Ahim... Himitsu or a humits uh, so I'm not sure but appreciate it
Nice. How was work? I think he mentions. Um. Yeah, it, it's all right. It's still it's still pretty chaotic right now, but um. I, I like have started to find that I'm like I'm in charge of a lot of work, which is like fine, I guess. But um, it is a little too much, I think. But yeah, today was fine. It was pretty busy. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I worked on a lot of heads in my day. This one, definitely I needed a reference for, but it was fun still. Um, yeah, I don't think from this angle you would get much of the underside of the, the chin. You would have to be... about here, I think.
And yo, son, I'm doing fine. How are you? Hope that you're doing well. Appreciate you dropping in. Thanks, Mike. Um, let's draw um, a couple more things. Let's do. Let's try another body. Um, Trying to think. Ah, oh, I got a good one. Uh, one that Superman does with his arms crossed in the air. In the air with feet together. Interesting. I'll have to try that in a second. I'll have to check it out. Um, I'll see if I can't squeeze it in after this. I just kind of wanted this one to be, this is coming out a little sloppy in the lower body, but. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, definitely see if I can find a good reference. Um, let me see here, do I really want, I don't think it needs to be like that, it's just. And then I will have
Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah, from a low view. These are ones that I need to like work on because I don't have them down quite yet. Like it's not super inaccurate, but it's also not 100% correct. Like I think this probably. Go like this a little bit more. Oh, or this one. That one looks crazy. That one reminds me of Ahsoka a little bit. Oh yeah, it, I would get a reference just to double check. It's not awful though. Like, I think where I'm messing up is I think that I think that the eyes probably could be a little bit more uh, dropped in just a bit. Um. This could probably come up to a bit more of a point, which would mean this. It's probably a little more accurate, maybe. Um. want to get uh, our boy Superman's legs here. That's probably where I would go with that. Um, let me do one more, and then I think I'm gonna jump off for the night. Um, I will uh, get back on again, hopefully on Friday. If not, uh, what's the following week's like? Close to Christmas, yeah. It's dang, that's so crazy. Next week is Christmas week. Holy crap. Um, wild so I'll be coming back yeah that's crazy um let me think one more pose night lock appreciate you hopping on um what do I want to do here done pretty much every pose that I could. Let's do just a quick crouch pose, I guess. Thank you, I appreciate it. 
Oh yeah, let me look at the reference, see how close I was. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, the, the reference that I initially brought up was definitely, uh, he was definitely more straight, like, in, than, than this one, but, eh. Um... Yeah, let's do a, let's do one of my favorite pose really fast. One that I'm always going to. It's a good day's work. Yeah, I'd say so. All right, everybody. I'm going to jump off for tonight. Um, I appreciate all of you. Hey, we got the 10 likes, too. Got to celebrate. Got to celebrate. y'all thank y'all so um yeah i'm gonna jump off for tonight um i had a good time hanging out with y'all doing some gestures starting new gestures and starting to prep for my manga um so yeah i'll try to come back next week um if not later this week we'll see um have a nice night might continue miking on Thank you. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next one. Um, I'm going to do a, a, a poll. Maybe I start doing streams on Saturdays instead of videos for a little bit. I have some ideas for videos, but I kind of want to take my time with them. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll start doing that if people think that they would like that more. But anyways, I hope that y'all have a great night, and I'll see you in the next one. Love y'all. Peace.